Hello everyone and welcome back. I have a kind of a different little video today that I'm doing. I have taken a long journey to a certain location and today we will be exploring an ancient volcano. Now probably not too many people that live in this area know that this is actually a volcano due to it being completely covered in trees and it's not uh, very tall and it has a bit of a cone shape but not much. Anyways, this volcano is around 46 million years old and uh, it is, there's different uh, ideas on what it is, but uh, when you look at it, there, there appears to be two cones, uh, two mountain shaped cones. So it kind of looks like two separate volcanoes possibly. Um, but I think the main idea and the, the main theory uh, is that this is actually a caldera system and that these two, uh, cone-shaped mountains are actually uh, resurgent domes. Now when you think of a uh, caldera, you probably heard of that and think about a uh, Yellowstone. And what a caldera is, is when there is a pretty decent sized or large eruption of uh, lava and ash coming out of the magma chamber. And so much of stuff is erupted out from the system that uh, it kind of creates a chasm in the magma system so the upper ground level the upper part of the volcano actually collapses into the chamber and creates a large depression or crater in the area which usually when that happens it causes a, a large explosion all around the edge of the crater right over here this is one of the resurgent domes right here this is where magma from below the cra uh, caldera floor pushed up and caused the top of the crater to dome upward. And the other one I'm standing on the slope of, and it's uh, up this way, and I'm going to try to make my way to the top of it. There are also, uh, there's another volcanic system just a couple miles to the east of here. Um, that one erupted about 36 million years ago. And then there was uh, some basalt volcanism about 20 to 15 million years ago which caused uh, basalt lava flows to flow into this location burying most of the volcanic system that I'm standing on now so the resurgent dome you see here most of it is buried beneath basalt lava flows so most of this volcanic system I'm standing on now there are two resurgent domes in the caldera are mostly buried beneath basalt lava flows. So the whole caldera crater is pretty much completely buried. It is completely buried beneath basalt. So I'm going to try to make my way up to the top and we'll see what we can find on the way. There's the resurgent dome. And then it kind of goes out here. So the caldera is buried underneath the sediment and basalt flows that are out that way. And the caldera is uh, estimated to be about two miles across. Well, I finally found some of the uh, bedrock, the part of the volcano actually, the uh, lava. Um, took me a while to actually find some that's exposed and not covered underneath the uh, vegetation here. But yeah, this is uh, old lava stuff. Let's see if I can break this one. Ooh, yeah. Shattered. Huh. Well, there's lots of, uh, there's iron in it, traces of iron. That's, yeah, there's iron in, in it, so, huh. There we go, I finally got a uh, nice decent chunk off, and you can actually tell, uh, see the different minerals and stuff that are actually in the lava. So it's uh, very black. Okay, let's see if I can do this so you guys can see this. If you look uh, here, right there, there's some uh, large minerals. Probably feldspar. Yeah, it looks like feldspar, little tiny bits of biotite, and uh, little bits of quartz. So this would be dacite, and that's what it says on the geologic map. So this is a dacite uh, lava, which is between 
uh, rhyolite and andesite lavas. I just came across this. This is the other type of volcanic rock that is found up here. This is rhyolite. This uh, is lava originates from granite and rhyolite lavas and magmas are highly explosive. Now rhyolite can contain uh, opals sometimes. You can th find things like fire opals in rhyolite. As I go higher up I'm finding more rhyolite lava. So, so we have rhyolite and dacite that are located on this uh, volcano. More lava. The exposed bedrock of the volcano resurgent dome. Right there is the uh, second highest resurgent dome. So we're just about there. I'm almost to the top but I saw this on the volcanic rock. I forgot the uh, the names for these but these are again these are chunks of solidified magma uh, that got pulled up by the lava conduit and erupted. You can see there's feldspar and quartz. These are pretty decent sized chunks here and there's a smaller one right there. And there's more here. Uh, I'm seeing a lot more of this um, at the top here than I am at the bottom, which is kind of interesting. But uh, so what happens with magma? Magma is made up of many different minerals, and each of those minerals have uh, different points, uh, melting points, and solidifying points where they turn back into crystals. So as the magma starts to cool, certain minerals will crystallize first and then other minerals will follow until eventually the whole magma system completely solidifies into a body of granite, which is an intrusive rock. You can see here, there's little chunks of it, of solidified magma that were pulled up by the molten lava through the conduit. And then you can see some here. I would think that you would find more of this in larger chunks the closer you get to the main er, main vent or plug, the eruption plug where the uh, eruption originated from. And I'm starting to see more of this in larger quantities and chunks as I get closer to the summit, which is interesting. And then there's this kind of interesting flat piece that kind of seems to go through here. Just a big wall of old lava here. Now the flows, you can't really find any evidence of the actual flows because it's this volcanic system is like 46 million years old, so there's been lots of erosion. However, this is all was all lava at one point. You can see there's more uh, parts of the the uh, magma system that was solidified and got pulled up. There's some bigger chunks right up there. Finding some interesting stuff now, look at that. All the gas holes. <clears throat> some more. Here I am, I made it to the highest point of the tallest resurgent dome. And the view up here is quite amazing. It's quite flat open view. See all people's homes down there. Another mountain. Somewhere out there, the caldera is buried beneath the salt lava flows and sediments. And I am on top of the resurgent dome. And I believe all the, the right out here is also, this part of the mountain here is also old lava flows. So if you put yourself here 46 million years ago, this would have been uh, an active volcano erupting ash clouds and dacite and rhyolite lavas very explosively. Uh, I would probably think it would have been kind of a dome. Maybe I don't know if there would be a cone or a lava dome or not. But eventually the caldera formed when the surrounding land collapsed into the magma chamber which would have caused a very large explosion. So I can imagine from here I'm standing about where the ash would be shooting up hundreds of feet, many miles into the air. 
sending ash clouds downwind and pyroclastic flows probably roaring out into the distance covering and destroying anything in its path 46 million years ago after the caldera formed there were probably lava flows that filled the caldera floor probably uh, other explosions maybe activity stopped for a couple of decades maybe hundreds maybe thousands of years it stopped and then new magma entered into the bottom of the caldera pushing up the surrounding rock creating the resurgent dome that I'm standing on now and the other one over that way and then out that way there's another volcanic system which is about 32 million years old uh, I think it's mainly basalt lavas and then 15 uh, 20 to 15 million years ago way out there are lava flows giant ones came in here and completely covered up everything so much of this volcanic system I'm standing on is buried way down hundreds of meters below all these sediments and basalt. What I'm noticing up here compared down slope was down slope I was finding dacite uh, lava that was like this. Uh, hold on let me get better lighting. There we go I was finding dacite that looked like this. You can see there's not very large uh, minerals or crystals that you can see at all. It's just mainly black with uh, mafic mineral. If you can tell that but uh that's what i was finding down slope but mate what i'm starting to find up here is stuff like this uh i don't know if you can see that but there's a large chunk of feldspar right there and there's many other minerals all over large crystals that are visible easily visible with my eyes here um again i forgot what they call it, it starts with a p but what this is, is again, it's part of the magma system that solidified. And it was partly uh, crystallized, the magma. And then something happened that forced uh, chunks of it up a, a conduit of with a rising magma, liquid rock. And it pulled it up and erupted at the surface. So there's large uh, minerals within the lava here. You see that one? That's a large chunk of feldspar right there within the lava. So this was could have been down there for hundreds of years within the magma system and it started crystallizing. And then uh, the lava came forcing up towards the surface, pulling it along with it. And then, uh, yeah, it was floating around in the lava until it cooled. You can see the, di the difference in the color and texture, hopefully. Yeah, see the, all the bu bubbles in there from the gas that was escaping from the lava? And the color changes it's darker where my thumb is here and then it gets yellow hopefully you can see that the lighting isn't the best up here interesting this looks like a big chunk of pegmatite stuff and right here on the corner is a little tiny bit of uh, dacite lava so looks like the lava took a big chunk of the this uh pegmatite stuff with it again diorite lava with uh, bits of feldspar. So these two resurgent domes are within the caldera. So the caldera, huh, I wonder, see those mountains over there, they kind of loop around, maybe. The caldera is estimated to be about two miles across, so from this direction uh, to this, this way over here. Well, I just found lava that's slightly uh, different uh, color than the other dacite. This, this dacite's really dark. This one's really light colored and you can see the feldspar minerals uh, that are located within there. If you can see that, you see it now? Those little white speckles, specks. Those little white specks, those are all uh, feldspars that were in the lava. This stuff here, maybe, it, I don't know. You see that pebble in there? It's actually quite round and weathered within this uh, rock. So th this is like a conglomerate. Maybe this is pyro, I don't know, pyroclastic material. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Huh, interesting. Then there's this stuff. It's slightly different color. I believe it's right light. It's more orange. 
And there's the summit marker. Proof I've been at the top. This was put in here in 1933. I first became interested in volcanoes, and uh, that's all I wanted to know was volcanoes. I didn't care about all the, you know, the rocks and stuff and the other stuff that went with it. I just liked volcanoes. And then uh, as I dug deeper and wanted to know more about them, I started to realize I'm going to have to f learn about the uh, different types of rocks. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. It sounds terrible. Eventually, I learned that knowing the different types of uh, rocks is key to understanding the different types of volcanoes and the mechanisms that were involved, and it soon became interesting. And then with active volcanic systems, you also have to understand earthquake activity and uh, possibly faulting, and that's where I got an interest in that. I wanted to know more about the different fault mechanisms and earthquakes and then soon after that I'm I'm looking into everything I'm looking in the volcanoes earthquakes faults the, on all the different rocks and pretty soon I'm wanting to know as much as I can I've always loved volcanoes and I hope that one day I can possibly study them uh, as a job maybe that'd be pretty sweet it's gonna take me a while to get to that point but maybe one day well this will do it for today I'm glad I made it to the top found all kinds of interesting volcanic rocks that I showed you guys and there's the resurgent dome in the distance. This is a pretty decent sized volcanic system here. And I hope you guys found it just as interesting and I hope to see you all next time on whenever I get to making another video. So take care everyone.